Oh yes, I shall teach you about cryptids. If you don't know, cryptids are the creatures that are studied in the field of cryptozoology, the very much not respected study of animals and creatures that may or may not exist, like Bigfoot and Nessie and Chupacabra and all sorts of different things. I love cryptozoology. Um, I find it very interesting, uh, along with a lot of mythology. My specialty in cryptozoology is Bigfoot and Sasquatch-like creatures from all around the globe. It's insane, but like basically every people group from around the world have some kind of myth of a giant hairy man of the forest. Now, some of them are not always giant, such as the Orang Pendek. Um, those are said to be smaller. You have the Almas from the Caucasus Mountains that are like six, seven feet tall. If I get mixed up on these, please correct me. I have a lot of random knowledge up here and sometimes it gets a little bit confused when it comes out. Yetis are big, like eight to 12 feet tall and fairly violent. The Yowie from Australia, um, like Bushmen, and some of them are rumored to speak. The Yaren from China, uh, supposedly men that fled the Great Wall building and then became giant hairy forest men as they lived in the forest for generations. Some people say Dogman and like the Sasquatch are the same thing. Others say they're not. Some say they're offshoots. In my professional opinion, uh, they're not the same thing. Dogman is too far gone from um, the ape-like creature that Sasquatch is supposed to be. There's one in South America that uh, some accounts say its stomach is a giant mouth and it just goes through there. Like, I don't know. There's a ton of different things in the U.S., especially with the natives here, um, talking about different varieties of these hairy men of the forest. Some of them are benevolent and will help you. Others, not so much. And even inside of all of this, we have ones that are said to more be more ape-like and those ones are typically more aggressive versus the ones that have a more human-like appearance which typically seem to be less aggressive like if you see a giant chimpanzee get the heck out of there if you start going onto youtube and typing in like different um like sasquatch recordings or the ohio howler calls you can get some really interesting stuff uh, vocalizations that a lot of people say can't be made by a human or replicated by a human and they don't belong to any other mammal or animal that we know of that would even be remotely large enough to make that or in the area or whatever there's all sorts of different things skeptical people saying well that couldn't be anything else so, oh this is just a human call slowed down or sped up or whatever there's so much cool stuff. If you want something really fun to look at, uh, look up Samurai Chatter and the Ohio Howler. Very cool vocalizations that you can listen to. What should I deep dive on inside of this? Because I'll do whole videos on different cryptids. Try me. I'll freaking do it.